Imagine a world where flying cars are the norm, where traffic jams are a thing of the past. No more honking horns or endless waits at red lights. Instead, we glide through the air, skimming over rooftops and soaring above the cityscape. This is not a scene from a sci-fi movie, but a potential reality that's on the horizon. But did you know that the concept of flying cars isn't new and dates back to the early 1900s? Yes, you heard it right. The idea of a vehicle that could transport people both by land and air has been a part of our collective imagination for over a century. In 1917, a man named Glenn Curtis, a renowned aviator and aeronautics engineer, was the first to patent a design for a flying car, or as he called it, an autoplane. His concept was a tri-winged vehicle, a sort of hybrid between an automobile and an airplane. However, despite his best efforts, Curtis's autoplane never achieved more than short hops rather than sustained flight. Throughout the 20th century, there were numerous attempts to create a workable flying car model. From Waldo Waterman's Aerobile in the 1930s, which actually managed a few flights, to Moulton Taylor's Aerocar in the 1950s that had detachable wings and was certified by the Civil Aeronautics Administration, the predecessor to the Federal Aviation Administration. Despite these early forays, the dream of a mass-produced, commercially viable flying car remained elusive. The challenge of marrying the requirements of a road vehicle with those of an aircraft proved to be a daunting task. But these early pioneers paved the way for the concept of flying cars, inspiring future generations to keep dreaming and innovating. Today, we stand on the brink of turning this long-standing dream into a reality, thanks to advancements in technology and engineering. But it's important to remember that this journey has been a century in the making. While the idea of flying cars has been around for more than a century, the dream of creating a practical and safe flying car persists. And as we move forward, we do so with the knowledge that we stand on the shoulders of those early inventors and dreamers who first dared to imagine a world where cars could fly. Flying cars represent an exciting concept that could revolutionize transportation as we know it. Picture this. Instead of commuting for hours on congested roads, you could simply hop into your personal flying vehicle and reach your destination in a fraction of the time. The potential benefits are staggering. Travel could become significantly faster with journeys that currently take hours reduced to mere minutes. The need for extensive road networks could diminish, freeing up land for other uses. Commuting would no longer be limited by geographical barriers such as rivers or mountains making remote locations more accessible. These flying marvels could also provide an alternative mode of transport in emergency situations, quickly reaching areas that ground vehicles might find inaccessible. But it's not just about convenience or speed. The environmental impact could be substantial. With the right technology, flying cars could be powered by renewable energy, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and contributing to a cleaner, greener planet. Moreover, the economic implications are profound. A whole new industry could sprout up around flying vehicles, creating jobs and stimulating economic growth. Tourism, real estate and other sectors could also experience a significant boost. However, as fascinating as this concept is, it's not without its challenges. For flying cars to become a reality, we need to overcome numerous hurdles related to safety, infrastructure, regulatory permissions and public acceptance. The potential of flying cars is immense but the road to their implementation is not without its challenges. As we continue to push the boundaries of innovation, we inch closer to a future where the sky is not a limit but a new pathway for transportation. Creating a flying car that can be used daily is no walk in the park. This might seem like a statement from a sci-fi movie, but in reality, it is a challenge that engineers, designers, and visionaries around the globe are actively working to overcome. So. Let's dive into the current challenges and limitations faced in developing and implementing flying cars. First and foremost, we have the technical challenges. Designing a vehicle that is both road and airworthy is a monumental task. It needs to be light enough to take to the skies, yet sturdy enough to withstand terrestrial driving. Additionally, it must be equipped with advanced navigation systems for both land and air travel. And of course, there's the issue of fuel efficiency. A flying car would need a power source that can sustain both modes of operation without frequent refueling or recharging. Then comes the regulatory hurdles. Aviation authorities worldwide have stringent standards for air travel. Any flying car would need to meet these standards, which are designed to ensure the safety and efficiency of air travel. This includes standards for vehicle design, pilot training, and operation procedures. On top of that, there are the road regulations. 
A flying car would need to comply with the laws of the road, including safety standards and emission regulations. Safety concerns are paramount in both air and ground transportation. For flying cars, this means developing robust safety systems that can handle both modes of travel. These systems must be able to handle emergency situations, such as engine failure or collisions, whether in the air or on the ground. This includes parachutes for emergency landings and airbags for road accidents. Furthermore, flying cars must also have systems in place to avoid other aircraft and obstacles in the sky. Infrastructure requirements pose another significant challenge. We would need to develop a whole new infrastructure to accommodate flying cars. This includes vertical takeoff and landing pads, refueling or recharging stations, and maintenance facilities. Not to mention the need for air traffic control systems that can handle a significant increase in air traffic. And let's not forget the social challenges. How would society adapt to this new mode of transportation? Would people be willing to get a pilot's license in addition to a driver's license? How would we ensure that flying cars are accessible and affordable for everyone? These are all crucial questions that need to be addressed. Last but not least, there's the environmental impact. We need to ensure that flying cars are sustainable and do not contribute to climate change. This means developing energy-efficient engines and using renewable energy sources. It also means designing flying cars that are as quiet as possible to reduce noise pollution. Overcoming these challenges is a daunting task, but recent technological advancements are bringing us closer to the dream of flying cars. While the road, or should we say, the sky ahead may be filled with challenges, the potential rewards are immeasurable. Imagine a world where flying cars are the norm, where traffic jams are a thing of the past and where travel is no longer restricted by roads. It's a future that's worth striving for and one that we're getting closer to every day. Flying cars are no longer just a concept, thanks to groundbreaking technological advancements. The dream of having a car that can also fly is becoming tangible, with some of the most brilliant minds in science and engineering working tirelessly to turn it into a reality. There are three primary areas where advancements have been instrumental in making flying cars a reality. Battery technology, artificial intelligence, and material science. Let's start with battery technology. With the advent of electric cars, the demand for efficient, high-capacity, and sustainable batteries has skyrocketed. The same applies to flying cars. Combustion engines are too heavy, too noisy, and too polluting to be a viable option for airborne vehicles. This is where advancements in battery technology come into play. Lithium-ion batteries have been the standard for electric vehicles for quite some time now. However, they have their limitations. They're heavy, their energy density is not high enough for long flights, and they have a relatively short lifespan. This is where new battery technologies like solid-state batteries and lithium-air batteries are stepping in. These batteries promise higher energy density, lighter weight, and longer lifespan, making them a perfect candidate for powering flying cars. But having a powerful and efficient battery is not enough. Flying cars need to be smart. This is where artificial intelligence or AI comes in. Imagine having to manually control a car in the air, navigating through buildings, other flying cars, and various other obstacles. It sounds like a daunting task, doesn't it? This is why AI is crucial for the development of flying cars. AI, with its ability to learn and adapt, can make flying cars autonomous. It can handle the complexities of flying, navigating, and landing without any human intervention. AI can process a vast amount of data in real time, make split-second decisions, and adapt to unexpected situations, making flying cars much safer and more efficient. An AI-powered flying car can calculate the fastest route to your destination, taking into account current traffic conditions, weather, and other factors. It can even communicate with other flying cars, creating a network of airborne vehicles that can coordinate with each other to avoid collisions and optimize traffic flow. The third pillar of flying car technology is material science. Traditional car materials like steel and aluminum are too heavy for flying cars. To make a car fly, it needs to be as light as possible. This is where advanced materials come into play. Composite materials like carbon fiber and advanced alloys are being used to make flying cars lighter and stronger. These materials are not only significantly lighter than traditional car materials, but they're also stronger and more resistant to wear and tear. This means that flying cars can be more durable and have a longer lifespan, further enhancing their efficiency and sustainability. In addition to these, new materials with unique properties are being explored. For example, materials that can change their shape in response to changes in temperature or electrical signals, a characteristic known as shape memory, 
can be used to make wings and other parts of flying cars that can adapt to different flying conditions, making them more aerodynamic and fuel efficient. In summary, the advancements in battery technology, AI, and materials science are not just making flying cars a reality, but they're also making them safer, more efficient, and more sustainable. But this is just the beginning. As these technologies continue to evolve, so too will the capabilities of flying cars. The dream of a flying car in every garage might be closer than we think. These advancements are not only making flying cars possible, but they're also making them safer and more efficient. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, the sky is no longer the limit. It's just another highway waiting for us to take flight. Let's take a look at some of the most promising flying car prototypes that are pushing the boundaries of transportation. In the quest to make flying cars a reality, several prototypes have emerged that are truly groundbreaking. These aren't just cars with wings slapped on. They're marvels of modern engineering, blending the best elements of automotive and aeronautical design. First off, we have the Terrafugia Transition. This hybrid vehicle, developed by a subsidiary of the Chinese company Geely, is more than just a car that can fly. It's a street-legal vehicle that transforms into a light sport aircraft in less than a minute. The wings fold out, the propeller engages, and voila, you're ready to take to the skies. The transition's lightweight frame, combined with its innovative design, allows for a cruising speed of about 100 miles per hour in the air. Next, let's talk about the Aeromobile 4.0. This Slovakian invention takes the concept of a flying car to new heights. The Aeromobile 4.0 is designed for both road and air travel, with a top speed of 160 miles per hour in the air. The company behind this prototype, Aeromobile, has been working on flying cars for over 30 years, and their dedication shows in this stunning piece of machinery. Then there's the PAL V Liberty, a Dutch invention that's as much a helicopter as it is a car. This gyrocopter vehicle can transition from driving to flying mode in just 10 minutes. The PAL V Liberty has a unique design that allows it to take off and land vertically, making it perfect for urban environments. The Liberty is already available for pre-order, showing just how close we are to seeing flying cars in action. But the most groundbreaking prototype of all might just be the urban aeronautic City Hawk. The City Hawk uses powerful ducted fans to lift off the ground, making it more like a compact helicopter than a traditional car. This Israeli innovation is a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, designed to operate in urban environments with the ability to land on rooftops or in parking lots. Now let's shift gears and talk about Joby Aviation's electric air taxi. The vehicle can carry up to five passengers and fly at speeds of over 200 miles per hour. It's also fully electric, making it a more environmentally friendly option for air travel. But it's important to remember that these are just prototypes. They're the first step on a long road to making flying cars a reality. Yet these prototypes give us a glimpse into a future where flying cars could become a regular part of our daily lives. They show us a world where we can soar above traffic jams, where we can travel between cities as easily as we drive down the street, where the sky truly is the limit. So what does the future hold for flying cars? The answer to that question is both exciting and complex. As we look ahead, it's clear that flying cars hold immense potential to revolutionize transportation as we know it. One of the key benefits of flying cars is their ability to reduce traffic congestion. Imagine a world where rush hour gridlock is a thing of the past. In fact, according to several studies, flying cars could cut travel times by more than half. But the benefits don't stop at reducing traffic. Flying cars also have the potential to be more environmentally friendly than their ground-based counterparts. With advancements in battery technology and the use of renewable energy sources, flying cars could significantly lower carbon emissions, contributing to a greener and more sustainable future. Moreover, flying cars could open new avenues for economic growth. With new industries and jobs centered around flying car production, maintenance, and infrastructure, we could see a significant boost to the global economy. Safety is, of course, a paramount concern. Developing reliable safety systems for flying cars is a complex task, requiring extensive testing and regulatory approval. How do we manage the skies to prevent collisions and ensure smooth operation? And then there's the matter of public acceptance. Will people be comfortable flying in cars? Can they trust the technology? These are questions that will take time and education to answer. Technological advancements are overcoming the hurdles one by one. Autonomous flight technology is maturing, battery technology is improving, and companies are already testing prototypes, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In the end, the future of flying cars is not just about the cars themselves, 
but about a larger shift in the way we think about and approach transportation. While we may not see flying cars zipping around in our skies tomorrow, the progress being made suggests that this could be a reality in the not-too-distant future. Flying cars have captivated our imaginations for decades, and now they're closer to reality than ever before. We've taken a journey through the history of flying cars, from a concept that once seemed impossible to a prototype that's pushing the boundaries of transportation. The potential impact of flying cars is immense, promising to transform our daily commutes and revolutionize the transportation industry. However, it's important to remember the challenges and limitations that still need to be overcome. Despite these hurdles, the future of flying cars is undeniably exciting. Thank you for joining Time Pilgrimage on this journey through the history and future of flying cars. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment.